Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali. I am pharmacist by profession. I have worked for 40 years in pharmaceutical industries. I have worked for big names like Johnson & Johnson and Novartis. Today I would like to talk about the process validation of pharmaceuticals, particularly the process validation of the tabulating mixture. Uh, here in, in this video uh, I will talk about the content uniformity of the plant. Let me first define what is process validation. According to FDA, process validation is defined as a collection and evaluation of data from the process design stage throughout production, which establishes scientific evidence that a process is capable of consistently delivering the quality products. Here is the definition of process validation from WHO. Process validation is establishing documented evidence which provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process will consistently produce a product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality characteristics. Validation of tablets. All steps that are generally considered critical should be validated. Most critical step among the different process of tabulating manufacturing is the final blend mixture for tabulating, wherein content uniformity of active ingredient is most critical. Particularly uh, when we are dealing with low stand high potent drugs, that is active load is uh, less than 5% of blend, we have to draw uh, samples from the final tabulating mixture. Uh, size of the sample should, should, should be the theoretical weight of the tablet approximately and 10 number of the sample is needed for content uniformity test hence there are 10 different locations for sampling and must include locations where at poor blending or homogeneity is expected take at least three replicate samples from each locations no, for content uniformity of plant, we have to take samples from the different places. Uh, samples location in case of tumbling blender. Identify at least 10 locations in the blender to pull plant samples. Location must be carefully chosen to represent potential area of poor blending. For example, in thumb blender, such as V blender, double cone blender, samples should be selected from at least two depth along the axis of the blender and and we have to take at least three replicate samples if 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 we need in 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 in, in uh, uh, future to do the reanalysis or retesting now here is the diagram of the double cone blender you can see that we uh, we have to draw samples from from different depths here first sample and we will be able to take such samples from the different levels and we have to take samples from the bottom too. Now here is the diagram for V blender. We have to take samples from different level like this and we also have to take sample from the bottom also. Now in case uh, sample location in case of ribbon blender for convective blender such as ribbon blender a special effort should be made to pull samples from different locations including the corners and discharge area at least 10 locations are suggested to adequately validate the convective blender here is the look diagram for the ribbon blender and we have to take samples from the corner also from the middle also and these are the sample locations for uh, ribbon blender. Now let's talk about the acceptance criteria. Most commonly used criteria is uh, individual assay of uh, 10 different locations should be between 90 to 110 percent of the label claim and RSD should not be more than 5 percent. And, and less commonly used is that individual assay should be between 90 to 110 percent of the mean value and RSD must not be more than 5 percent. 
here we are we are using mean value and here we are using the label claim now let's uh, do some calculation uh, assume that in case of uh, in, 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 in a case we have 10 different SA results from 10 different uh, locations and, and the mean of the SA is 102.3 percent and uh, uh, and and then its standard deviation is uh, 1.161 and the RST if, 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 if you calculate the RST from this standard deviation it will come out to be 1.14 RST divided by mean value and multiplied by 100 is the RST is 1.14 percent in case of B here are the results of uh, 10 different places and the mean assay results is uh, mean of these 10 assay is 99.7 percent and standard deviation is uh, 6.381 now now we have to calculate from this standard deviation and mean RSD and RSD is 6.4 percent Let's go to our previous slide to see the our acceptance criteria. Our acceptance criteria that individual assay should be between 90 to 110 percent of the label claim, and RSD must not more than five percent. Must not more than five percent. But but here RSD is more than five percent, although the individual is assay is between 90 to 110 percent but th there is lot of variation you, you can see from the graph that there is lot of variation this this variation causes the standard deviation is standard deviation is high and that's why the rst is 6.4 percent so it, it it is not acceptable we have to revalidate our process and we have to do some action to to get uh, proper blending of active ingredient in active ingredients, the is, 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 is not met. Uh, in, in in the case of failure of the content uniformity test, following actions are mostly needed. Mixing time has to be increased so that to achieve uh, a proper uh, a proper content uniformity or uh, evenly distribution of the active ingredients. But, but one should bear in mind that excess mixing may cause demixing of the powder. We also have to look for the speed of the mixture. May mixture, mixture of a speed uh, to be set at the optimum to get uh, uh, per proper uh, even, even mixing of the powder. So these are the two action most important questions we, 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 we have to take in, in case where, when our product does not uh, meet the content uniformity of the blend. And uh, as I told you before, that content uniformity of blend is is very very important in case of highly potent and life saving drugs. Thank you very much.